Many people ask, is Satan finite? I have faith the Lord has given me the answer. I am a prophet of the Lord my God. Jesus Christ is from God and came in a flesh body. He is God in the flesh and died for my sins. The spirit of Satan is a covering cherub. God made Satan to cover the entirety of God's spirit, which is omnipresent. Another big lie of Satan is that he's not omnipresent. Wisdom is not knowing right from wrong, but right from almost right. Satan's spirit is much more pervasive than people think. While Satan is finite compared to God because he is not omnipowerful or omniscient, the spirit of Satan is the root and spirit of sin, which is to act as your own God, going against God and his ways. The father of lies, which is to act in dissonance to God's spirit, which is much more prevalent than people think around the world, is omnipresent. This is why he thought he could pull one over against God and become better than him. He has one quality of God, but not all three. The sinful people who are the closest to people in power always try to subvert their authority, so thus he is finite, but not how most people have been led to believe. The spirit of Satan is like the spirit of Halloween. Every person who has fallen for the spirit of Halloween has come under its lies and spiritual jurisdiction. Everyone who commits sin comes under the jurisdiction of Satan's spirit, and any sin beyond that, or types of sin, is also governed by other fallen angels and evil spirits like a spiritual layering. Legion had 2,000 types of spirits inside of his body at one time. This is how the spirit realm works. Layers of darkness, which goes against God's light. God has his sevenfold spirit, which is also governed and tended to via his own angels, one of which controls all the water on earth, etc. Revelation 16.5, quote, And I heard the angel who had authority over all water, saying, You are just, O Holy One, who is and who always was, because you have set these judgments, end quote. When Christ rebuked the devil in the Bible, the Lord rebuked him through many different people, including Peter when he denied that Christ would have to die on the cross. How do you think the devil attempted Christ? He used his flesh body as the medium, as the flesh has physical needs. He didn't just walk up to him and have a conversation. It was a spiritual conversation. When we leave our bodies in the spirit, we become one with God again through Christ. While our spirits are not omnipowerful or omniscient, our spirit overlaps and becomes one with God's omnipresence. This is why so many people have NDEs or OBEs describing an instant influx of knowledge and wisdom outside of their bodies which they cannot express while inside of them. Christ has told us we've been given all power over the authority of the enemy, Luke 10.18 and Galatians 1-4. He also told us we have been given all authority to take captive every single demonic thought placed inside our minds by him. We can take them captive and cast them down. Through the gift of Christ's death on the cross, we are given the power and authority to resist the devil, which includes rebuking the devil, which is actually God rebuking every power and authority and accusation against us using sin via our flesh bodies. Many people believe we can rebuke the enemy ourselves, but this is not entirely true. Archangel Michael was not able to rebuke the enemy. He simply said, the Lord rebuke you through the power and authority Christ has vested in the angels. The same power and authority Christ has vested into his own children here on earth. It says in the Bible that we as children of God will also judge the fallen angels, which is to testify against them through our life's testimony. It says in scripture that the devil is defeated by our testimony. Anyone who still believes lies under the jurisdiction of the father of lies and every lie thereafter, under the hierarchy of the kingdom of darkness. This is why Christ says Satan has his own angels in Matthew 25, 41. Quote, then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. End quote. One third of heaven fell, so one third of heaven tries to act in one accord as its own god. Revelation 12.9 says, quote, And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. End quote.